Hello and welcome back to Baldur's Gate. We are in the carnival, and you know what I hope the carnival has? It has story-based XP that does not require killing things that will get us all to level 2. That's what I hope the carnival has. If none are better. Let's see. I was just thinking there, if we have a quest, right, which we know will give us XP, right? We have this quest, we know it's going to give us XP. All we have to do is hand it in. So, say the previous one we had gave us 2,000 XP, right? And we know that this 2,000 XP is split between the party, right? What if, if I want somebody to level up, surely what I should do is I should remove people from the party and then talk to them with that single person and then that will level them, they'll get all 2,000 XP and then they'll level them up, right? Just a thought. Not necessarily something I want to do, but just a thought, you know. You can basically power level people that way. Hmm. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? It's a farmer. Hello, farmer. Weather's been lousy lately. Three of my hired hands. A runoff in the last month. Disappeared right in the middle of work day. You just can't get good help these days. Alright, sure. Oh, we can go in the tent. Of course. Oh, hello, merchant. If none ah, are better. I know a discerning eye when I see one. An explorer of the land, seeking wonders and oddities. Well, I have... Well, both I have, unfortunately. I paid thrice the price for my iron wares, and not a piece is saleable. Mayhaps the guard will take more notice when old swords wear, and the new snap like twigs in autumn. Nevertheless, you came here to buy, and I do have something special just for you. These potions are strange magic from a distant shore. A swallow of the violet and a titan's might shall possess you ever after. Exceptional strength is yours. Drink down the red mix and your insights will rival Elminster's. Your clarity of thought indefinitely enhanced. To you I offer them at the bargain price of 50 gold apiece. As restitution for my depleted selection. If they do not perform as I have promised, your money I will courteously refund. Will you relieve my hands of the violet? Sure, why not? Already you must feel strong, you're just holding it in your hand. Yes, your packs weigh lightly upon your shoulders. Will you convince me of your satisfaction by purchasing the red elixir? Yeah, I'll take the second as well. Your eyes grow wide with the light of knowledge. Go forth now and I will enjoy the satisfaction of future great deeds done with my assistance. Ample compensation for practically giving merchandise away. Out, everybody out, you have picked me clean and I can afford no more good deeds these, this day. I met a strange and very generous merchant in Nashkel. Very eager to aid me he was. He mentioned a problem with his iron items being brittle for some reason. That's not what I wanted to do. Interesting that O opens the escape menu. Okay, good to know. So we have a potion. I don't know what it is though. Well, down the hatch. Okay. Achievement unlocked. Godlike. Should I be worried? <laughs> How may I be of assistance? Um, should I? But my decks and con just got trashed. Okay, please drink this. Look at that! Take a drink of this. Oh, drink. What's happening? Am I drinking? I've drunk. 25 intelligence minus 3 to every... Okay, so I'm very, very, very smart. Wonders I have seen, uh, but I saved the best for you. Uh, can I What is it this you? time? How, am I just like this forever? Um, I might have messed up. <laughs> um... 
Okay. I guess I'm just really smart now, but I, I can't hold any items. You have need of me? How do I, I do my best? I don't even know how to deal with this situation. I mean these are locked. Um How would how do I I'm not I'm not sure how I get out of this. <laughs> uh because it's it appears to just be a thing that's just happened now. Do I just reload? Uh I think I just reload. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> okay, well. This potion is a bit trash. This potion, really good. That's actually worth putting in quick items, I think. Like, that could be useful. Maybe. Hear me out. If I give this to XR, right? Does this help him with his magic? Okay, prime requisite of a mage. Maybe if I take it before I try and learn a scroll, it could be useful. Like, I take it and then try and learn the identify scroll and then just rest and get it to go away, maybe? Uh, can I help Possibly. None are better? I'm assuming godlike was for getting a stat that was really I high. My best. Uh, okay. Interesting. Friend. Hello, Lester. Sure is a nice carnival they put on. If only there were more people here to enjoy it. Where is everyone? Down in the man's are dead. A combination of the two, more often than not. I'm sorry, you folks are here to enjoy the carnival. Don't let me go telling my desperate, uh, depressing tales. Hmm. Um. Well, the mines interest, interest us more than the carnival, to be honest. We'd like to figure out what's wrong if we can. Was right. That place has been claiming lands hand over f lives hand over fist. But where else can we find work? It's either death by the demons or death by the dinner plate. And us Nascale folk are on the tap to let our families starve. I'd register with the garrison, but with this bum leg, I ain't no good at fighting. Just pushing the ore barrow. That's all. Okay. Sure. Hey, farmer. Um. Let me just have a look at the map. I didn't really want to pause. I just wanted to look at the map. I just want to get to the edge. Oh, wow, there's so much in this map. Just keeps going. Just keeps going. Is the edge here? I'm trying to see. It is a different color of black. As weird as that sounds. Yeah. Okay. So what is that over there? Oh, it's another merchant. Oh. We'll we'll make our way back across then. Maybe we'll just kinda walk from one side to the other and do this kind of path. Serpentine pattern around the map. Rather than the spiral inwards, which is what I've been doing. Okay. This what? way, good sir. Over here. Oh okay, Zeke. Sure. Come one, come all. Take a look at this stone warrior at the stone warrior maiden. How long has she been trapped in this petrified form? No one knows. Be the first to learn for the mere price of five hundred gold. For that small amount of money, I shall give you a magic scroll, and with this scroll, you can release the maiden from her stone prison. Think of the gratitude she would feel to her saviors. Perhaps she's a princess from some far-off land, or maybe a powerful sorceress in search of a concubine. You can't afford not to know. Buy the scroll. Sure, give us the scroll. You won't regret this. Here is the scroll. I wish you well. Bye now. Okay, well, I mean, I've just bought a scroll of stone to flesh scroll. Okay. So, he doesn't already know stone to flesh, does he? <laughs> Let me just have a look. No, he doesn't. So, can I teach him stone to flesh? No. Who can learn that? So, I guess this is... Were we thinking this was a cleric spell previously? He can use it, though, I think. Or can he? Yeah, I see... Well, this is not... Yes, maybe it's not a cleric spell. Why can he not learn it then? Maybe it's just in... Oh, maybe because he's necromancer. He's got um, things he can't learn. I just want to figure out why he um, would have it. But like, if I go to... What would it be? Class? May not learn or cast any spells of the illusion school. Is that it? 
So if I have a look here, is this illusion? How would I know? <laughs> I don't think it's illusion. Uh, okay, I don't know. I mean, if I stuck it here, can I cast it? Something troubling you? Yes. I can. Cool. Well, I just bought a stone to flesh scroll for 500 gold. I've just been swindled. You have need of me? Okay. Well, if fine. None are better. Hello, merchant. I can. I've got the best prices try. this side of Cormier. I hope you're enjoying the fair of fine time, despite the recent shenanigans involving the mans and those pesky bandits as well. What can I get for you? Uh, what do you have available? Oh, he just sells me things. Oh, interesting. I could sell my huge collection of throwing daggers to him. Um, I mean, do I just sell them all for one? <laughs> it seems like a bit of a waste. Uh, how much does a throwing dagger do? 1d4 missile. Hmm. Okay. Uh, it could be useful. You know what, actually? We'll come out here. We're done. Uh, I'm going to give these to Montron. Uh, can I just... I guess I just have to select them like this. Yeah, let's chuck them all on Montron. And that way, if we need him to stay back, he's got an option. Because he can probably use these, right? Yeah. Is... Yeah. His damage... Uh, well, his chance to hit goes... Down, but his damage goes up with the uh, dagger. That's dagger, right? Bastard sword. Yeah, okay, whatever. Cool. That seems fine. Ish. Right, what have you got? I've got the best prices this side of Cormier. So what's this one? Oh, we can ask him to identify stuff. Of course. I want him to identify the... He can't identify stuff. Then why have it as an option? Oh, okay. So we should just find somebody who can identify things. That would work. Uh, oh, maybe he can only deal with the things that are his weapon type? Okay, maybe. Like crossbow, I still haven't decided what to do with that. Uh, oh, we have stuff in the gem bag. Yeah, we do. We have uh, this one. And that one. Nice. Well, <laughs> be seeing you. Do my best. Actually, what did if he have to sell? Better, I, I forgot to check what he actually had. Prizes, this side of uh, he sells arrows of piercing, a heavy crossbow, sling. Um... Yeah, okay, so he doesn't really sell very much either. Okay, fine, I'll whatever. Do my best. Let's head through here. Hello. If I've got the best better. prices this side of Cormier. So he sells weapons. Can you identify my stuff? No. Cool, see ya. Um, do we I'll want to unpetrify best. this lady? I guess so. Um, Your voice is ambrosia. XR? Um. Free her. She's been freed. Uh, oh, achievement unlocked. You? The stone cleric. I'll do my best. By the ice breath of Oral, tis good to see new faces and taste freedom again. I am Branwyn, a war priest from the Norham Isles. I have been trapped in stone for what seems like an eternity. You have saved me, and for that I owe you my life. I am indebted to you. And by Tempest, I shall leave no debt unpaid. Let me join whichever cause you're fighting for. I should make a valuable ally and bring favor to the Lord of the Lord of Battles upon us. Sure, I'm also on the lookout for another warrior. I am glad to be part of your war party. I will not make you regret your decision. A word of caution, though. Beware of the dog that entrapped me in stone. Transig, he calls himself. He was in the employ of a mercenary group, but I do not know the name. I shall see him dead before I see the shores of home again. See ya. By Temple Shield! Okay, where does she go? He appears busy. We have fought well and we have fought bravely. Tempest willing, perhaps I'll fight by your side again someday. Cool. Does she just stay here? What is your command? Uh, yeah, okay. She just basically stays here. That's fine. Done. Hello. Yeah, cool. So she is uh, turned to stone by a mage named Transig. Is that a quest? That's what I'm hoping it is. Uh, does not look like that is a quest. Yeah, that's not a quest, so I will add that. When we see Transig, we have to come back and get Branwen. Yeah, there we go. Um... 
Transig, go get Ran when at the carnival. Cool. Just so that I remember. Hopefully, that's all I need. Cool. Well, we saved another companion, potentially. Another merchant. This is just a merchant area. I love it, but you know, it's just a merchant area over and over again. Yo, wait for everyone. Hello. I'll do my best. I've got the best prices this side of Cormier. You'd be interested in any of my fine odds and ends. Ooh. Uh, excuse me? I've got the best prices oh, this side of Oh, option one is no this time. Okay. Protection from petrification. Love that that's there. That's cool. Um, what's this? Ring of Infravision, Topsider's Crutch. Ooh, okay. Interesting. The One Gift Lost. Uh, D uh, 6 D6 Fire Damage. Ooh. That's quite a lot for us, really. Love it. Um... Bit expensive. Yeah. Okay. Um, ah, the boots are available. Does that mean you can identify them? You can. How much will it cost? 90? Oh, definitely. Boots of stealth. Worn whisperers in ages past, a king named Rygerd was renowned for the spies he kept. So skillful were they that no nook or cranny escaped their eyes and maps were held for entire castles and towns. Eventually, betrayed from within, the tools of their trade were taken and dispersed, ensuring that none could amass such a band again. So increases move silently and hide in shadows. Hmm. Okay. Well, in that case, those boots are quite clearly ours, because we are actually the stealthiest in the party. Because, if I go and have a look at us here, and look at our... Even though we have nothing... Like, we've got move silently 71, hide in shadows 66 now. I think that she'll probably be next. Yeah. So our move silently and hide in shadows is nowhere comparable to ours whatsoever. Which is interesting, because we're not really stealthy, but whatever. You have Works for me. me. Oh, what else did he sell? All my stuff is I hate that really one is no. I've got the best prices this side of Cormier. Alright, yeah, he didn't really sell very much else. And then the protector. Yeah, okay. Fine. Whatever. It's just a okay weapon. It's just an okay bit of armor. No, uh, 66 there. This has been better. worth doing. Like this, has seriously, been worth doing. You need a new Lord Binky tailor. the Your Bottom. Clothes are absolutely dreadful. Oh, how dreadfully unposh you all are! I mean, honestly, this is a carnival, not a gladiator's ring. My name's Felix. What's yours? Mon name es Felix. What is yours? Um, are you mocking me? Those. Thou mockest me away with you, beggar. Wow. Um. Oh, what have I done? Oh, we back? We're back. Okay. <laughs> Something went a bit weird on my end, but we'll ignore that. Um. Binky the buffoon. Kill when seen. Again. Cool. I'll definitely remember that that's a joke. Maybe. Leave us alone, will you? Nothing for you here. You there, stay back. If any of you come closer, I'll kill her. I'm serious. Don't make me do it. All I have to do is say the last word of my spell and she'll die. Uh, what's this all about? She's a witch! She'll use her magics to poison the children of this town. She'll butcher the livestock and she'll seduce the young men. Make them her puppets. She must be killed. Um. Why don't we discuss this like rational beings? Just calm down. I'm sure we can come to some sane solution. Disgust. There's nothing to discuss. This witch will die. Now leave me or I'll smite you as well. Um. Come on. We can't just let you murder a defenseless woman. Just calm down and talk. Defenseless woman, she's a witch! She's dangerous and must be killed. Get away from me before I kill you all. Sorry, but we can't let you hurt the lady. We're going to have to remove you by force, if need be. I told you, but you wouldn't listen. Now she dies, and then you die. Arashaka! Oh, she did die. Bentha, death. 
well. It's definitely not positive. But I think we chose the option of, like, please don't kill her. Okay. We got 900 XP. I'll do my best. Um. Okay. <coughs> I can, but try. Well, can't help but feel a little bit like we've just done something horrible. Give none are better. Hopefully that wasn't a companion we've just killed. Ooh, history of Sha history of Shadowdale Eight. We we, we if you didn't watch the book episode, we read one to seven. You There's an eight. <laughs> okay. The time of no lords. During the period when Kelvin Blackstaff held the pendant of Ashaba, the symbol of the lordship in the Dales. Cyloon, widow of the murdered Lord Omri, was the de facto ruler of Shadowdale, though these years were known as the Time of No Lords. Cyloon, an adventuring com uh, company known as Main's Band, were responsible for driving out the Zentail Keep forces and keeping at bay the monsters in the area. The Twisted Tower, the traditional seat of leadership, remained uninhabited following its abandonment by the evil Lord Jordam and neither Cyloon nor the companions of Main's Band wished to assume the mantle of leader. With time, Main's Band passed on to other lands and adventures. Okay. So we have two... We have two of these. Uh... I guess we'll chuck these over to XR. That over here. An ant... I don't know what to do with this antidote. I just, just keep the antidote. What's this one? Potion of Heroism. Hit points plus 10%. And Thak zero is 90% of current base. Hmm. Seems useful. Uh, we'll chuck those over to XR and we'll get those identified. Cool. Um, oh. Did I already loot this one? Nope. Um, time to leave, I guess. If none are better, oh, I can. I was trying to walk try. back and then, yeah, walk in and walk back. That's what I was trying to do previously. I'll do my best. Um, I I have no idea what that was there. Is this the right one? Yeah, I think this is the I right one. Got the best. best prices this side of Cormier. No, this is the wrong one. Okay, they, uh, to be fair, they all look very similar. If none are better, this is the right one. Um, okay. Maybe we'll find out more about what happened there later. I've got the best prices this side of Cormier. Oh, we can afford some stuff now. Cool. Um, I want you to identify. You can. Oh, okay. Fine. Whatever then. Leave. You. Have I can, but try. Gambling ten. Well, this sounds bad. Let's quick save. I'll do my best. Hello, gamesman. Yeah. Take your chance with Lady Timora. It's House of the Bones to make your fortune. Double your money on a winning roll. Wait your two gold. The lady looks away and you lose. Sorry. Next. Is this it? I'll do my best. You're a lucky fella, aren't Five you? Five gold. I lost that one. All right, next one. You. Come in poor. Walk Roulette. Out rich. Oh, ten gold. Nope. Okay. I think I, f I think I understand the game here. Hello. Take your chance with Lady Timora. Come on, come all. Try your luck at the Wheel of Fortune. Roll the dice and win big. Timora looks down at one of you and blesses you with her divine luck. Come in okay. Can I? I can. Okay. Try. Well, good that we got out of there. There's another gambling tent. I'll do well, my I mean, best. You know what? Nah. Nah, not right now. We'll head the other way around. We might come back to it at the end. Merchant over here. Cool. Right, so... Things haven't been going great for us. I could unlock that, I suppose. I mean, nobody would know we were there. Yeah, go inside. I don't really see an entrance, but go in. There we are. Quick save. Hello, merchant. 
All my stuff is authentic. Really, it is. Hey there, you look like the adventuring type, so do you need new equipment? My prices might seem a little steep, but with the iron torches and all, there ain't nothing I can do about it. Alright, what does he have? He has armor. Okay. Can you identify... You can. Nice. I was thinking because it was armor, maybe? Um, While seen with less frequency than some other mage's robes, these ele those of electrical resistance can hardly be considered a rarity. Some are worn by, um, pari by paranoiacs. Uh, seeking protection from a ragged mountain storm, but many more are worn by mages seeking to protect themselves from the intrigues of others of their kind. As with all such robes, a mage robe of electrical resistance can only be worn by those of a wizardly profession. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, unlikely to come up, but sure, wear it. Like, it's unlikely to come up, but at the same time, if it does, wouldn't you rather have it? Weird that we can't identify this one, though. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll leave. That's if fine. None are Head up here. So this whole carnival is basically just one giant shop. Just want to throw that out there. So none of these are anything? Not really. We can probably just loot these. Be fine with it. Don't need those. Locked. Uh, Imowen? <laughs> You're a queer fellow. Please unlock I'm that. Gone. Nice. Deal it. Nice. You have need of me? I'll take the money. I'll do my best. This one here is almost a little too close to Branwyn. That's my only reason for not stealing it, is I don't want to wind up my uh, future companions. Or, you know, have anyone notice what we're doing. Okay, so we cleared that side. Ooh, what's this one? Just another tent. Okay. I'm sleeping people and commoners. Okay. I can, well, but try. That's fine. The weather's really turned, doesn't it? It's like, oh, it's a lovely carnival. But, you know, the rain never stops. Hmm. Nothing around here. Just keeps going, huh? load of nothingness up here. Oh, yeah, I forgot to check. Um, I pause. Oh, the sound doesn't stop while I'm paused. What's the XP like? 80? 176. Wonderful. So we are very, very near. Wow. Everyone's almost near level uh, 3 when we have people who are still level 1. But yeah, we're very near having everyone be level 2, which would be fantastic. I think that XR gets more spells at level 2, as in more spell slots as well. So that would be fantastic for uh, if we're going into the mines. Which might be short, but might be a major thing. Oh my god, how many are there? This one. This one. Ow. How may I be of assistance? I am become death, destroyer of worlds. It shall be as you wish. Run. Run back. I see. You three, you shoot that My one. Will cut you down to size. Nice. <laughs> okay. Cobalt. Uh, they are a little annoying. Uh, let's do a heal here. Then probably a self heal on her. That was reasonable. This one's heal. Yeah. And then heal herself. That works for me. Need of me? Quick save. Let's grab better. some loot. Uh, we'll take the arrows. I mean, the arrows doesn't really matter where they come from, does it? Oh, I didn't need the bow. Um, yeah, take that. Probably didn't need to buy as many arrows as I bought originally, given how many are just available on enemy corpses. Good to know, though. Um, at least I have a good selection. We can grab another lot for ourselves, actually, because we were a little bit low. Uh, Imowen? Uh, yeah, you can have the next slot as well. That's fine. Uh, we'll take the remaining remaining arrows and add them to our pile. Cool. Works for me. Uh, can I help Do a little quick save. If none are better. How much XP did we get for those guys? Like seven. Okay, fine. Not really a big deal. Seven between us, so effectively we all got like one XP. Okay, sure. That seems uh, 
like a worthwhile thing to do. Nothing over there? No. But we are exploring the map, making it look nicer when we uh, go into map view. Half the goal, right? Let's head up here. Continue doing this little back and forth up the top. Still don't actually see anything immediately. Ah, more cobalts. Get them. Did somebody get hit? No. Okay. Nice. This one? I'm just controlling the ranged guys. Just so we can get the ones who are a bit more of a pain. The ones who are engaged in melee combat don't matter. What happened to the sun? I assume it became night. Like, in seconds it just became night. Ooh, a gem. We'll have that. We'll have that. We'll have that. Okay. It became extremely dark. Like, instantly. Yeah, talk about a day-night cycle. It's like, you know, there, there, are two, there are two bits on that cycle. Day and night. Yeah, okay. Hello, Cobalts. Get them. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, this one? Okay. Now, hear me out about Cobalts. You have need of me? It's unlikely, I but Cobalts, I think, are generally... Now, I think I'm confusing them with something else. But I think that they are occasionally dragon-worshipping creatures. I think I'm confusing them with Zorips from uh, Pillars of Eternity. But then I'm not sure whether Zorips are just meant to be kobolds. I'm sure I read somewhere that kobolds were dragon people. As in they were into dragons. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I am com confusing two different properties. But my logic was that would mean there might be a dragon nearby. But at the same time, it seems quite odd to have an early area, like an early game area, have a dragon in it. How do I know this is an early game area? Well, that mage that we killed just died. Like, no problem whatsoever. That's how I know it's an early game area. Because <laughs> if it wasn't, that mage would have killed us, I assume. Although maybe because we were in melee, that's why it was fine. But then, like, every party has a melee unit. You don't often get parties that don't have any melee characters. Hello, pal. Oh, hello. Who are you? Good day. Consider yourself victimized by v Vitiar. Master thief and pickpocket is Strodenera. No time to chat. Excuse me? None are better. Uh, excuse me? Where did you go? Wait, did he just steal from me? I'll do my best. I can, Take but try. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to do these. These just don't lose you money. I mean, we met Master Thief. You know what? Might as well write it in the book, right? Met Master Thief. Uh, what was it? Vitiari? Something like that? Uh, he said he victimized us? Victimize us. Sure. Why not? Um, did he steal anything from us? I don't think so. <laughs> but now I'm paranoid. I'm like, maybe he did steal something from us. Um, where is it? Yeah, those gems can go stick in the gem bag. <laughs> okay, so we got this bit in the center here to explore. I'll do my best. Hmm. I'm not sure what was up with that guy. You seem to meet a lot of interesting characters around. Which I guess does make it feel more like a D&D &D session, doesn't it? Where it's like, here's an interesting character. Do you want to follow their plot? No? Okay, we'll never hear from them again. Or, you know, this is the DM trying to introduce an NPC. And you'll hear from them every 10 seconds until that NPC has become part of the story. You know, whatever. Right, over here? Anything going on? Still nothing over here. That's fine. Where well, I like it. Nice and peaceful. It's gone very quiet. That's not the way I like it. 
the, mu the music has that certain sense of calming behind it. It just being pure silence is a little worrying. Okay, so we got these boxes here. Barking dog. Oh, it's like those train tracks. Oh no, these aren't train tracks. These are seats. Oh, okay. Sure. So this entire area was just like a merchant area. Okay. Um. Well, I guess we're done here then. So all we've got left to do is to go and click on each side and see what what's up. Down, left, and right. Right. Uh, let's see. What is down? Down is the Nashville Mines. Probably could have guessed that. If none are better. Right. And then we'll go check up. Come on, it's not that difficult. Okay. I should have checked up when we were there. Right, right. We have something. I guess that's up. Yeah, there's nothing else up. I'll do okay. my best. Well, let's figure out where to go next. Uh, actually, let's just have a look. What's our um, XP like? Stop touching me! XP is so close. Okay, what I think we do is I think we're going to head back I to Nashkel. No other. And then we're going to head to the Nashkel mines next time. If none are better. I think that makes some sense, right? Hmm. Oh, hey, cart. I forgot that there were people here. I was going to just break into that house. Belching Dragon Tavern? Seems like a good place to go. Yeah. I said in, into there. Uh, have a little rest, and then we go, go to the mines next time. That seems fine. Everyone in here? Cool. If none are better. Um, right. Quick save. Hello, bartender. Yep. You have to walk all the way around the bar to reach the bartender. You want some whiskey? Uh, yes, I'd like a drink. No, I don't really want a drink. I would actually... Okay, thank you. Everywhere I go, people are short-tempered and frightened about what will happen next. Well, okay, sure. But, like, I get it. But at the same time, I would like to stay somewhere for the night. Um, ah, there's an Ashkill in can, up here. But try. I could check the store and see whether we can um, get any of our items identified there. Actually, can we get our items identified at the chapel? I don't think so. Oh, do all of these have funny messages on them? Yeah. Well, not funny. Yeah, oh, there we go. Here lies Andrew. The quality of his armor was not assured. Oh, that's okay. In here? That's the store, isn't it? If none What's are up? Better? Yeah, business has been poor, but with the iron shortage and all. Can you identify my stuff? You, you can. Fantastic. Uh, a favored uh, among mages slash thieves, the knave's robe has been enchanted to shield its wearer from blades and poisons of any darkened ally. As of others of its type, however, its use is restricted to students of the arcane. There's an armor class against slashing attacks and a save versus death. You know what? You probably need it. Oh, it looks, um, glorious. Yeah. Okay, fine. Uh, uh, can I help you? Let's head out here. I can, but try. Do a little quick save. I'll do my best. Because, you know, why wouldn't we? Then head into this bit. I'll right. do my best. Hello, innkeeper. Oh, we've nudged Never him out of the way. No, right. Uh, I would like to rest. Thank you. Cool. Well, we've rested. I think we're ready to go into the mines. So. Oh, no. The pathing. Hey, they worked it out. Wonderful. Well, I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.